Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, look, you like the content of the video, go give it a thumbs up. Like the content of this channel, go hit that subscribe button, man. Today, we're going to get into Justin Tucker. Is he a top 100 player in the NFL? Now, I saw a tweet. The, um, the top 100 list is kind of teasing that Justin Tucker may be uh, involved on the list or possibly maybe an honorable mention. Uh, the tweet says, a, a kicker on the NFL top 100 question mark. Some players think Justin Tucker deserves the respect. Now, they've been doing a top 100 list for quite some time now. It's been at least 10 years, I believe, they've been doing the list. And the kicker has never made it. Now, if there was one kicker who should make it or is least deserving of making that list, it'd be a guy like Justin Tucker. I mean, we know what, as Ravens fans, we know what Justin Tucker can do. We know what he has done for the Ravens. So we're talking about a guy, right? All right, he's been on the Ravens since since 2012 and has never missed a game. All right, that's first thing. Now we're talking about Super Bowl champion, five-time first-team All-Pro, two-time second-team All-Pro, five-time Pro Bowler, NFL 2010's All-Decade Team, most accurate kicker in NFL history, 91.1%. And we're talking about longest field goal ever, ever made uh, versus the Detroit Lions last season in a crazy game with the Ravens. It shouldn't have had to come to that, but it did come to that. And Tucker stepped up and he delivered. So, um, you know, kickers kind of obviously get a bad rap, you know, from a lot of players because they're not on the field all the time and things like that. But... They're valuable members of the team. When you don't have a good kicker, you don't have a reliable kicker, you can tell, you know. It, it changes the way you uh, when you plan out your drives, the way you end your drives, the way that you think about a possession. Because if you say, well, shoot, I don't, I don't got faith in my kicker, man. We got to go for it. Or I know my kicker can't make it from this kind of distance. We got to get – it's more pressure to get in closer. With Tucker – you know, as soon as the Ravens pass, like, the 45-yard line, we in his range. So that, that alleviates a lot of pressure on the offense. And he's been consistent. He's been doing this since he stepped into the league. Let's go look at his percentages, man. Like, this guy, uh, Justin Tucker, um, has been constantly one of the most accurate kickers in the NFL, which is obviously shown by the fact that, you know, he has that 91% um Field goal percentage, which is the most accurate kicker in NFL history, like I said, so uh, to, up to date right now. And he's been doing it 10 years, so, you know, he's had plenty of time. So, we're talking about his, his worst season, 2015, uh, he had 82.5%. But other than that, 90.9, 92.7, 85.3, 97.4, 91.2, 89.7, and then last year, 94.6. And the Ravens needed Justin Tucker, man. I remember when there was points, right? And this is going back to, you know, Joe Flacco days. When the joke used to be, and it was kind of sad because it wasn't a joke, Justin Tucker was our best offensive player. You know what I mean? So he's been this kind of consistent guy his entire career. Now, if we go to the playoffs, what has Justin Tucker done in the playoffs? All right. All right, 14 for 18. and So four missed field goals. Three of those came in that singular Buffalo game in 2020. You know, that was a, a, a wild and crazy game uh, in, many, in many different ways. You know, if, if Tucker makes those field goals, if – you know, if um, if Hollywood can get that touchdown, you know, everything is different. Because, you know, Lamar, he had, blitz, he had blitz pressure off the edge. He couldn't step into the throw properly to get the ball to Hollywood, who was wide open. The following play, that's when he throws the pick six. The, um, you know, I think it was Teron Johnson, I believe, takes back to the crib but kind of ends the game from there. So, uh, Ravens had a lot of opportunities to win that game. It just didn't come, come to fruition. But... Uh, Jay Tuck, man, he's been a guy who earned the name Automatic, Automatic Tuck, you know what I'm saying? So if he, if the NFL is going to have a kicker, and remember, this this top 100 list is voted on by the players. No media, no coaches, straight people who are on the field playing the game. So if the players are going to vote a kicker in and get respect and give respect to a kicker, 
It's nobody better than Justin Tucker, man. He's literally been the best kicker in the NFL for quite some time. I think that's kind of – it's almost an indisputable fact if you ask me. I don't know who else you could really put up there as, like, the best kicker in the league for as long as he's been doing it and as consistent as he's been doing it. So if there was going to be a kicker in the top 100 list, it has to be Justin Tucker. I mean, uh, excellence, automatic points, no worries. Uh, and just a guy that when he's on the field, obviously it's supreme confidence in him. Like when Justin Tucker comes on the field, I'm already adding three points to our to our score. I'm not. I'm. I'm barely even looking at the field goal unless it's a game winner. Then obviously, you know, as a fan, you kind of feel that nervousness. But other than that, I'm barely even looking at it. So like, he's one of those kickers where it's more of a shock when he misses. So when you get to that kind of point where people are like, "Whoa, did Justin Tucker just miss a field goal?" You know you that guy, right? So if if he's on this list, and I, I watch the top 100 list every time they drop it, I think it's really interesting to see how the players view each other and who they think is good that maybe the media might not get credit to it or it might be under a little bit underneath the radar for the media. So to have a guy like Justin Tucker, who everybody thinks is great. Everybody thinks Justin Tucker is great. But to have a place kicker on the NFL top 100, um, and to avoid to be Justin Tucker would be great as a Ravens fan, but also good as a football fan too. Because if you do your job excellently at a high level, it's good to be acknowledged and noticed for that. And that's what Justin Tucker does. He does his job at an excellent high level. So if there was any kicker deserving to be on the NFL top 100, it's definitely Justin Tucker. All right, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.